Next up, fraud allegations against Ripple dropped. And that's not the big story. The big story is what's going to happen with Discovery. And I'll get that in a second. It says here in a, in a court record dated October 2nd, which was Friday, signed by Judge Hamilton. The court decided to dismiss the charges against San Francisco startup for violations of sections, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so what they're saying is that the plaintiff here argued that Garlinghouse, Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, made statements that conflated, <laughs> inflated the adoption of enterprise solutions with the adoption of XRP, even if Ripple's enterprise clients were not adopting the fourth largest group. So what, what it comes down to is that they're saying that because Brad was always saying, hey, Ripple's doing great, Ripple's doing great, XRP's doing great, XRP's doing great. They're saying that he misrepresented what was happening with Ripple, the company, as far as what's happening with XRP, the token, the cryptocurrency. And that has been some some confusion out there. I mean, even exchanges get it wrong. They they list XRP as Ripple. I, I still see it. It's crazy. So they're saying that is fraud. And of course, uh, the court granted the motion to drop the charge, saying the plaintiff's claim is unfounded. There was a separate claim that Garlinghouse made statements that falsely associated the adoption of enterprise solutions with the adoption of XRP, which is what I was just saying. Because Ripple is doing so good, XRP is not doing so good. They are separate. Ripple is a technology company. XRP is a cryptocurrency. And a lot, a lot of the different banks and their associations have adopted Ripple. They say, you know what? This is a pretty great uh, company and technology and for, as far as like a messaging service for cross-border payments. However, we don't really... We don't really get an XRP. Sorry. There are far more banks and institutions using Ripple than there are XRP. Now, is that going to change in the future? Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. I sure hope it does. I'm still holding the exact same amount of XRP. I haven't added to that uh, stash and I have lost over 90% of my position, but I'm just too darn stubborn to let it go. So I will say this though. It's not what you know, it's who you know. And a lot of deals get done in back rooms with a just a simple handshake. And what, what Ripple is doing is they are one of the very few that are actually going out and lobbying Congress, talking to the regulators, and really being the adults. And will that pay off? Well, it's better than not doing anything. So they could be the ones that could be the big winners. And again, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And Ripple does know a lot of people. Let's just be honest. Moving down. So one part has been dismissed. However, the court gives the plaintiff the green light to proceed with the cause of action involving the violation of blah, 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 which is all about fraud and selling unregistered securities. Okay, so why is that such a big thing? And remember, this is against Brad Garlinghouse, against Garlinghouse. And this is where they kind of get this from. Because Brad State, I'm long XRP. I'm very, very long XRP as a percentage of my personal balance sheet. I'm not long on some of the other digital assets. And he has come out many a time and said that he owns Bitcoin and he believes in Bitcoin. And that's not to be disputed, but he's probably talking about other digital assets, maybe like tomato coin. I don't know. Because it's not clear to me what's the real utility, what problem are they really solving. He's always been open about that. He thinks that there's a lot of different digital assets that solve absolutely nothing and they're just there to make money. If you're solving a real problem, if it's a scale problem, then I think you have a huge opportunity to continue to grow that. We have been really fortunate. Obviously, I remain very, very, very long XRP. There's an expression in the industry, hodl. Instead of hold, it's hodl. I'm on the hodl side. So this is going to come into play because Judge Hamilton said the plaintiff may move forward with the cause of action solely based on Garlinghouse's alleged misrepresentation regarding the scope and character of his XRP holdings. The court also noted that the plaintiff may pursue other cause of action against Ripple Labs. So it's gonna be very interesting. There's gonna be a discovery process. They're going to take a lot of depositions. It's gonna be very expensive, I can tell you that. So I don't know where this guy's getting his money, but I know <laughs> I know he's going up against a huge corporation. Not that you can't beat a corporation. I've been sued by a corporation before. It sucked and uh, drained me tremendously. <laughs> it took me two years, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. So the real question is going to come down to is how much is Brad Garlinghouse holding? How much has he sold? What is going on with his holdings right now? And I mean, it's all up for debate. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just not. And uh, I mean, I could just, just off the top of my head, I could think to myself, well, even if you, you know, had, I don't know, 10,000 XRP or 100,000 XRP, if you just say, hey, I'm long XRP, I mean, that could be enough. But again, not a lawyer, don't know what's going to happen, but I do believe that, uh, it's going to all come out in the court proceedings, and uh, we'll see. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.